Hello everyone. Welcome to the progress video for my first PNG VTuber child, codename, Core Values. I'll be talking about the design process, and some of my favorite parts of working on this project. Though first, I want to give thanks so much to Core Values for working with me. This was such a wonderful process, and made so fun by having such a great collaborator. It certainly has me thrilled at the chance to get to do something like this again. I had to create a sketch for the design. Though this was going to be a half-body PNG, I wanted to get a feel for the whole character. I was very thrilled to get the chance to work on this because it feels like a good exploration of the skills I had picked up from my VTuber sketch times from last year. I had a lot of practice trying to sketch a variety of outfits and styles that I normally wouldn't try. So I felt really geared up and ready to get into a challenge like this. I was given a really thorough briefing document, which gave me a strong direction of the character and the key elements to focus on. We were looking to create an alchemist with a lot of layers and elements, naturally with a character like this you just have to have the coat. The coat has to be a strong shape, and I played with a couple of tails to use. I created three sketch designs and then got on call with the client. Now with the first two sketches I had followed the brief closely but deviated on some shapes and edges, such as altering the shape of skirt, coat, or shoes etc. However the design that stood out was the third design. I try to as a design principle, include a design that takes elements from the prior sketches and briefing documents, but I'll purposefully change something. I call it a, killing the curiosity piece. I knew the design wouldn't suit pants, at least not in this iteration, and I figured we were already fairly happy with skirts. Why not try some shorts? And why original motivation was that the characterization was of someone who was action-ready, motivated, and very go-getter. So shorts seemed like an applicable choice that wouldn't impede on the motion and shape of the character, plus adding the puff to it so they were kind of large allowed me to still keep the kind of skirt silhouette. This ended up being a real winner. I threw it in there as a means to kill off the idea of shorts and the important thing about throwing these ideas into the mix is you may discover a bit of a eureka moment. The shorts were locked in, as was the rest of the design, with only minor adjustments. Here we would have the basic shape of core values come into focus. I didn't record the process of getting on call and talking about color choices, but I was very tickled by the color palette inspiration. I'll leave my VTuber child to explain that, should they so choose. Before jumping into the PNG process, I just wanted to show the sketches. Here are the versions created, and you may notice that we ended up using a kind of Frankenstein process to get the final shapes of core values together. Also as a behind-the-scenes preview there was a version of the sketch that had the coat off the shoulder, hanging loosely, and we spent some time really thinking on this before agreeing it was the wrong direction for the character. I don't disagree with the decision, but, well, RIP to a king, you will be missed, here we have the fully body sketch and colors. Primarily using white, red, yellow, and blue. I skewed the white to a cool white with blue undertones, kept the blue as a minor accent color, with red and yellow as the larger accent colors. The skin was modeled after a South Asian tan, and black was used as the stocking and glove color. I personally really love this red to yellow gradient for the eyes, that was just a touch I had fun creating. With this locked in, Core Values had a color palette and design. Time to get into making PNG images so they can talk. Now the PNG was of a different style than I am used to. Once I had locked in the angle and sketch, I was diving headfirst into building the PNG, and I was given free reign to choose the shading type. I'll be honest, as glad as I am for the experiment, and make no mistake, I am proud of the outcome. It was certainly biting off more than I could originally chew to do it this way, but I changed up my layering style. I had changed my shading style, I was creating a PNG for a character I didn't do any warm-up sketches for. I'll definitely take this into account when I do this process again, as I had somewhat foolishly assumed this process would be similar to when I drew myself. The thing is I had drawn Cappy several times over, and was very comfortable with the shapes and weight of the character. 
Core values had quite a different vibe, and though there would be outfit elements, I was super comfortable with it just showed that warming up isn't just for working out. My methodology was to create a base shape in color. I duplicated this and gave the underlayer a stroke effect as the lines for each piece. Once this was done I began using clipping masks to build up the layers of the outfit. I had originally learned this method from one of Maya Kern's tutorial on, I want to say Tumblr. I watched it a long time ago by the way, shout out to Maya, a phenomenal artist and creator please check them out, but I used the same multiply and brightness effect layering to give the shading some cohesion. Although I did run into some shading troubles trying to keep all of the layers in check. As mentioned this was new to me so it was a steep learning curve remembering where I had placed everything. It was pretty easy to grasp, even from trying to effectively manage a half-body PNG, how involved it can get making a VTuber model. It may seem over the top to have over a thousand or more layers, but when considering those are intended to move and gesticulate. It's genuinely amazing what VTuber artists and riggers are able to pull off. This goes for 3D as well, the patience to get it right is staggering. I really respect the craft and time put in by some of my favorite creatives. Anyways please forgive me for the small aside, but sometimes trying something just really makes you appreciate the time and skill of others. Now, once I had this stage complete, I did a test run of the PNG inside VitoTube to make sure the frames were working. It was looking pretty cute, pretty fabulous. I can show you a little preview recording of that right now, with me toggling the coat on and off. I think Core Values really was looking so swelled, but I ended up going in and revising the hair bow, and adding the potion bottles and belts, and adding some texture to the final pieces. I didn't record much of this altering process, as it was mostly spread out over what time that I had available. I learned a lot over this process and I really look forward to when Core Values is announced to the public proper, but until then, thank you for your time, while I explain this process. It's still fairly new to me so I hope I get better at it with time. Both making the VTuber and explaining myself, haha. With that I shall bid you farewell. Keep an eye out for my VTuber child, when they are released I'll be certain to add their links down below. Until then, I wish you luck with all your endeavors, and I will catch you on the flip, bye bye.